I just got permission to hunt this 1915 home here behind me and uh, wish me luck. Here we go. I'll be back with the first good target. Okay guys, I am back. Second hole. I haven't been here five minutes and look what's laying in the hole right there. We've got silver and it looks old. Let's see what we got. Nope. Not what I thought. Looks like we got a Washington. You can see the date on it right there. 42. All right. 42 Silver Washington. It's going to be a good day. Okay, back with the third target out of the hole. I don't think this yard's been hit. I mean, it's uh, shallow. You can see probably not even an inch or two, but it's a clad dime. So that's still a good sign this yard's not been touched. All right, back with the next good target. Okay, back with the next good target right here next to the sidewalk and looks like I've got a wheatie which I already wiped it off a little bit because it was pretty caked on and we have a 1926 all right out with the next one okay back with the next target Looks like another clad dime. Still can tell this yard's not been touched. You can see those aren't, those coins are coming out within an inch to two inches deep and that's it. All right, back with the next target. Okay, we're back with the next target in the hole. And it looks like we have another weedy. This is a good, green color to it so hopefully it's got a little age on it you can see one cent right there see if flip it over here oh. I know I know don't rub the coins <laughs> let me uh, clean it up a little bit and I'll be right back okay back with the cleanup on it Looks like a 1927 Wheaty. Best I can tell. All right. Out with the next good target. Okay, I'm back in that same hole. I swing back over the hole again and got another signal. And I'm not for sure if you guys can see it or not, but right there. There's the edge of another coin in there. There it is. Looks like another weedy. These are about, eh, maybe four to five inches. Yeah, right at five inches. All right, I'll be back. I'll clean this up. Okay, okay, back with the cleanup. It's a 1924 Weedy. Kind of getting a little bit closer to the age of uh, the home. All right. Out with the next target. Okay, back again, guys. Back over the same hole. We got a coin spill. There's coin number three sticking right there. It was in the edge of that dirt clod. Looks like it's going to be another Wheatie, though. A little bit rough shape than the other two. Let me uh, clean this up a little bit, and I'll be right back. Okay, back with the cleanup on this one, guys. Now, that's more like it right there. 1916. Now we're getting into the age of the home. Okay. Back with the next good target.
Okay, back with this next good target. We all know how the Knox loves nickels, and this was a 12-13 signal perfectly, and it looks just like we've got a nickel. I have no idea what it is yet. I'm hoping it's a buffalo. Looks like I see the buffalo, maybe. I don't know. Not for sure. Oh yeah, there it is. There's the Indian. All right, we got a buffalo. Now I'll clean it up just a little bit and see if we can get a date off of it. Okay guys, I'm back with cleaning it up. Looks like we're not gonna get a date off of it. I tried to clean it up the best I could, but too far gone on this one. All right, all right with the next good target. Okay, we're back with the next target. Looks like we got another nickel. Not sure about this one. Not very deep. You can see right off the edge of the dirt clod there. Uh, no, that one just looks like a newer Jefferson. Looks like it. Yeah. Not that old. Kind of got that red patina to it, so it's got a little bit of age on it. Let's see if I can clean it up a little bit and get a date off of it. No, I can't really tell what it is. Let me see if I can brush it off a little bit and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back with cleaning it up. Well, it's 20 years old. That's about all we're going to get out of it. It's a 2000. Okay, out with the next target. Okay, I'm out at another home today. This is a 1908 home. And I'm trying to be really discreet in this part of town where I'm at because I'm going to turn it around and show you some of the homes. And I don't want to bring too much attention to what I'm doing. <clears throat> but this whole entire neighborhood has old old homes all up and down through here and I've got permission at a couple of them already and I'm having a lot of trouble with my knocks because of everything here is underground so you get a lot of interference but I've got my very first target right here in the hole I'll turn it around and show you okay Here's the very first uh, target out of the ground, and it rang up as a 13. And we've got a set of keys. Look like some old, older keys too. Probably about three inches in the ground. It's got a little chain on it. Okay, guys. Hopefully this is a sign of some good stuff to come. All right, back with the next good target. Okay, I'm back with the next target in the hole. I've got a 27 reading at about 4 inches. I don't know that that's quite 4 inches, but we might have silver here. Looks like it could be. Yep. Got a rosy. What year we got? 64. A baby just made it. Okay, guys. First silver out of the yard. Back with the next good target. Okay, I'm back with the next target out of the hole, and it looks like we got uh, part of a harmonica reed. I didn't break it, so it came out of the hole just like that. Only two pieces of it. Okay, that was the next good target. Okay, I'm back with the next target in the hole. These targets are hard to come by on these. They're really iffy, crackle pop, but you can see it right there. We got silver in the hole again. 
Looks like we got another dime. What's it gonna be? Is it gonna be a rosy? Nope, looks like a Merc. Nope, it's a rosy. All right, we got another rosy. All right, 1940 looks like. All right, that was the next good target. Okay, I'm back with the uh, next target. I took it out and had to clean them up because they were really crusty, but it had a little coin spill. The two 1917 wheat pennies. Pretty cool. You might be able to see that. I gotta clear it up. Alright, that was the next good target.